Hey, how's it going? Just gonna wait a little bit for people to join. There we go. <laughs> Let me know if you guys can hear me. Hey, can you hear me? Pretty good. Audio. <laughs> yo, yo. Let me know if you guys hear me well. Yeah, okay, all right, Gary said yes. <clears throat> How's everybody doing Monday? It's President's Day here in the US, so some of you guys probably uh, aren't at work, where some of you might be at work. So, <clears throat> sucks for you probably, but uh, yeah, you're living. So, either way, it's good, right? You could be dead. That wouldn't be as good. Uh, so just real quick, I want I want you guys to really kind of know. I, I mean, this is kind of random, <clears throat> but um, some of you who might be following me, who just started following me, might not know my story. Uh, I'm so I am a millionaire. I'm a I, I sometimes say I'm a God made millionaire, self made millionaire. If I say self made millionaire, it kind of sounds a little cocky. <laughs> kind of sounds like it was all me. Like everything was me, but it's you know I I'm a and some of you guys might know I'm 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 a Christian. I'm a, I'm a, a firm believer. Uh, I think God blessed me. You know I'm not I'm pretty average. I'm not I'm not that smart. Um, I come at, I actually come from a pretty pretty poor background. I'm not sure if you guys know. If you guys haven't been following me for that long, you guys probably don't know. Uh, my parents are missionaries. Okay, uh, we, my parents moved our family in 1991 to Budapest, Hungary. Okay, I was born in South Korea. My my parents moved me and my younger brother when when I was five. My brother was three to Hungary. That's Eastern Europe. 1991, when that that's the last year when the Soviet troops when they left Hungary. So. Uh, my parents are my parents are still there. They're missionaries. Um, they're in Hungary. They're serving the poor. They have a homeless ministry. They feed the the poor, um, and they have a church. My my dad is a pastor. He he uh, he does sermons in Hungarian, and they also feed people in the gypsy slums. Uh, gypsies are called Romas. They don't have their own country. They're kind of. Uh, they, they kind of just roam, you know? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I don't come from money. Um, my parents never made more than $1,500 a month. Now, some of you who are outside of the U.S., $1,500 might sound like a lot of money, $1,500 a month. Uh, here in the U.S., that's not a lot of money. $1,500 a month is, uh, is minimum. It's not even minimum, minimum wage. It's poverty. So I came here to the U.S. in 2004 uh, by myself. Uh, immigrated here to the U.S. Uh, with $500 in my pocket. Um, give me a second. Yeah, so, I mean, $500 is, is a good amount. Some people don't have any money. So I'm not. I'm not saying that that's... You know, I had it all bad. To be honest with you, I, I really feel like my whole life God provided for our family. We never really went, we never really went hung like hungry or anything like that. We were never. Uh, I mean, we we always wore donated clothes. I never. I we 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 always wore donated clothes. Um, but other than that, we went. We had shelter. We had food. Okay, so. I feel very fortunate. I came here to the U.S. I went to a Christian college, uh, scholarships, and I also worked as a personal trainer. Okay, um, and, you know, just very fortunate. Uh, after college, I uh, started in the warehouse. I, I, if you guys are here in the U.S., you guys probably heard of Career Builder or Monster. It's a website where you search for jobs. Okay. 
and I found this one job for will call. The position is called will call. And it's like an, a warehouse position. And so I started there and then I worked my way up. In about three, two or three years, I was in mid-level management. And in about five years, I was uh, the vice president. Uh, and I was there for about a decade and I retired. I retired last year, uh, age 31. I'm still 31. Uh, I'm not that rich. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of people way, 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 way more rich than I, uh, wealthier than I am. I have about one. Last time I checked, I, I have about 1.4 million dollars. Uh, to to some of you guys, that's a lot of money. It, that's a good amount of money, but it's it's not. I mean, here in the U.S. That's not, not that much, to be honest with you. Uh, that said, I, I'm at a point where if I go out to eat, I don't even look at menu prices. I'm not saying that to brag, but long time ago when I was a kid, we never, uh, we never uh, went out to eat, ever. We didn't get gifts at Christmas. We didn't get gifts at birthdays. Um... But now I'm at a place where if I go, I go to the restaurant two or three, one to three times a day, um, and I don't even check at menu prices. I don't care if it's if if it's a, I don't know the difference between a dollar, ten dollars, hundred dollars. It, it's it's the same, to me. It wasn't always like that. Um, I'm very fortunate. I'm I'm very blessed. God's really blessed me. Uh, again, I'm very average. I'm super, super average. I'm really not that smart. I mean, when I was in high school, every night, every time after after school, I would go home and we had all this homework, right? I would call, like, because I was bad at math. I, I have like three or four friends that are the best at math, right? <laughs> so I, I call one of them and then ask for answers. Like, hey, I don't know this question. And then, and then the next day I'll call my, my, my next friend and then the next friend. So I will always have three or four friends that are really good at math and I would just call them every other so that they don't get burnt out, you know? Uh, yeah, I was, I wasn't that great of a student to be honest with you. And a lot of you guys feel like you have to be smart. You don't have to be smart to make money. Trust me. Uh, and a lot of you guys think that when you when you see all these people that are like really making it in life, that are really rich, uh, or just killing it, you know, they have money just flowing, and they and you feel like man, they they have something different. Like they're above average. Like they, they have something that I don't have. Not true. It's not true at all. Um, a lot of you guys I know struggle with anxiety. I have anxiety. Some of you guys know who followed me for a while. Uh, I have a lot of anxiety. I'm not perfect. And if you if actually, a lot of people that I know, a lot of really wealthy, I, I, I've met a lot of wealthy people. I've met a lot of successful people. They act really, really um, like they're different, like they're like superior or like they have like the super hustle, like, oh, I'm a hustler, you know, I hustle all day, all day, every day. Don't trust that too much because it's all exterior, like they just show what, what they want you to see. And almost 99% of people that are really successful here, especially in the US, like celebrities and stuff like that, they're on pharmaceuticals, they're on medication. Um, because they have anxiety. Uh, so it's not, don't think that, yeah, exactly. We're not, people who are really rich or who are really killing it in life, they're not different from, from, from me or me or you. They're the exact same. They have insecurities. I have insecurities. Uh, I'm not always hustling. I'm, I get really lazy. Uh, and I procrastinate. 
You know, I know a lot of you guys struggle with procrastination. I procrastinate. Trust me. Like 99% of successful people procrastinate. Don't believe. Don't believe it, man. When you see like the Gary V's, hey, no disrespect. I love Gary V. But um, well, Gary V actually kind of hustles pretty good, to be honest with you. But um, most people, it's just all a show. They're not any different, okay? So don't feel discouraged um, if you feel like, man, like, why am I so weak, you know? Why am, I, why am I always anxious? Why am I always procrastinating? Like, why am I always so afraid of taking chances, you know? It's not just you. Everybody deals with that. Everybody struggles with that. I struggle with that all the time. I'm, uh, and, and a lot of you guys know I've shared before. Okay. I've shared before. I, I do take medication. Um, I'm not, it's a little embarrassing to admit that. Um, but, uh, I used to be so, I used to have so much anxiety, even with a lot of money. I had $1 million, like just cash. I, I couldn't go to sleep. The more money I made, I, I had so much, uh, like at night I couldn't go to sleep. I had, um, insomnia always thinking about like, Oh, I'm going to lose all my money, you know? So I went to the doctor and like, man, you have anxiety disorder. Uh, I was like, and I was like, man, that's, that's BS. You know, I don't want to admit that I have some sort of stupid, like disorder you know that doesn't sound it seems so like fake you know it's like when i hear people say like oh i have this disorder and it's like anxiety disorder i'm like give me a break there's no such thing there's no such thing as anxiety disorder uh but i don't know i mean i guess everybody's different everybody has mental issues everybody everybody has mental issues i've got mental issues uh it manifests differently right for everybody it's not the same as it for everybody um but you know in today's day if 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 uh, medical technology and pharmaceutical and all that stuff has come a long way if you do have really if you have crippling crippling anxiety you may want to get checked out maybe it's not you maybe maybe you do have a disorder i i used to i would have never admitted that to be honest with you i would have never been like Anxiety? Are you kidding me? That's not. That's not even real. Um, but let me tell you what. I started taking. Uh, I forget. What, it's it's a generic thing of Prozac, right? It's like Prozac, dude. It helps. It's actually too good. I'm I'm a little. I get a little afraid of it sometimes. I'm like, man. It makes me a little too um, impulsive. <laughs> I don't like that. You know. Uh, but I, you know, I'm just trying to be honest with you guys. You know, I, there's a lot of BS out there. Uh, so I just want, I want to be honest with you guys. I want to be one of those guys. If you're following me, um, I, I want you guys to know that, you know, I will, I will be as honest as possible. That doesn't mean I'm not perfect. That doesn't mean I'm perfect. Okay. I'm not perfect. Uh, you know, I make mistakes all the time, you know, but I try my best to be honest. Um, anywho. So yeah, I just want to encourage you guys. You know, it, a lot of you might feel like you guys are stuck in life. Where am I going? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm lost. I have a degree, but I don't know what I'm doing with it. I don't know what, I, what my, my passion is. It's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's You're overthinking it. You know, it's, uh, most people don't, don't know what their passion is. Sometimes I'm like, what the heck is my passion? I don't even know sometimes. So Buxa Darius said, I don't even have a degree. No worries, my friend. No worries. Degrees? Super overrated. Super, 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 super overrated. <laughs> uh... Especially here in the U.S., a degree, psh, dude, it's 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 almost worthless. I'm telling you, you you get like all this debt and debt, and 
it, it, almost nothing. You, it doesn't do almost anything, especially in the long haul, as technology gets better, as artificial intelligence and automation gets more and more, like it replaces workers, it's really, it's gonna just decimate jobs. Like you won't even ever believe. So don't worry about that. If you're young enough right now where you're like, I'm not sure about college, don't feel pressure. Here's my advice. I advise, my advice is just do a lot of tests. You don't have to go to university right now. You could take maybe a few classes in uh, community college. It's not a problem. If you're young, what you want to do is just do a whole lot of tests, a whole lot of experiments. If you're young, if you're like under age 30, 99% of the time, you don't even know what you want. You don't know what you even like. Or what you want to do for the rest of your life just try at least that was how it was for me so what you want to do is you just want to test you just want to experiment like all the time like oh i'm gonna try this oh i'm gonna try that oh, i'm gonna try this it's not a big deal uh, let me tell you so i want to tell you something real quick so like think about it this way okay i don't remember i think i heard it from a podcast somewhere that you know 50 think about this if you're let's say you're like if you're like one year before you were born a day before you were born no, no one knew that you existed you did not even exist you were you weren't here on this earth some people might debate that but let's not get into the like into the details of if you're living in the womb or anything like that i'm not talking about that all i'm saying is before you were born, nobody knew you. After you die, give it like a year. Probably less than a year. No one's going to know you. All your friends, all your family, they're going to be dead too. I'm not saying this to get you depressed. All I'm trying to say, the reason why I'm saying this is because a lot of you guys are fearful. You guys are so you guys are really afraid of trying things because you don't want to get judged. You don't want other people to be like like let's say for example you you try a blog, right? Or you try a new business and you're just afraid. You don't want to tell anybody because you're like what if I fail? They're going to laugh at me. Who cares? Think about it. No one knew that you even existed. A little before you were born and you die I guarantee almost guaranteed like 30 years after you die 10 years after you die there isn't gonna be a single person in the universe that knows well except for God but human beings that knows that you existed you were it wouldn't even mattered if you were even alive ever so what what is the big deal like who cares no one's gonna no one's going to, all the people that you know, all your friends, all your families are going to be dead. No one, no one's going to know that you existed. Okay. So take risks, take chances. Life is short. I know a lot of like older people. I, I, I remember when I was younger, people always used to say that, dude, like life's going to go quick. I remember when I was your age, that's like, it's so cliche, you know, it's true though. Life goes by quick. I'm 31. I'm going to be 32 in a few months. I remember when I was in college, but that's over 10 years ago. It's crazy. Uh, we're all going to die. And that, that shouldn't depress you. That should motivate you to, to go out and try something. If you're not trying things, it's, your life's going to kind of suck. Just trust me. Like, if you're in the 9 to 5 grind... Like right now, let's see if you're at your work right now, at eating lunch and you're watching this, or you're you just came back from work, and you're watch you're we're watching this live. Ninety nine percent of you, you're in the grind. You're on that treadmill day to day. You wake up. This is the first thing you think about when you wake up. <laughs> ah! I want to go back to sleep. I don't want to go to work. Oh, my life sucks. Ah. That's what you guys are. Like 99% of you guys. That's a crappy life, man. 
That's a crappy life. I mean, every day? Are you kidding me? Every single day you want to do that. You get up in the morning and you hate life. And all you're waiting for is Friday. Friday? Are you... Dude, that's sad. And then and then Friday you're happy. You're like, ooh, dude, it's going to be Saturday tomorrow. Or after work I'm going to party. Saturday comes around and you're like getting a little nervous because like Saturdays have gone and you're like, and Sunday comes around and you're like, oh man, I got to go to church. But it's like, oh, I can't, I don't want to waste a Sunday. Right? You feel me? That's sad. And then you're like starting to get more and more anxious. Oh my guys, Monday's coming up. Oh, Monday's coming up again. You know, it's like, dude, that's so sad. And you guys know, um, and I recently retired and I don't, it's so freeing. To wake up in the morning and just be like, should I wake up? Ah, I should probably wake up. That's it. Go get a smoothie. I get my green juice. You know you're rich when you drink green juice. That's like a uh, privilege. <laughs> right? you, you, you get a smoothie. You, I get my, my two different types of protein the uh the whey protein and i get my uh slow digesting protein the casein protein and i get my um if you guys have heard of organifi that's a green juice expensive too man put that in that's a power boost power boost i drink that and you know i'm ready to go and then i go uh, hit brazilian jiu-jitsu my kid you know i have to get up and get my kid obviously because he wakes up around 7, 7.30. And I take him to daycare. I don't, I'm not a, even though I'm retired, I don't, I'm not a stay-at-home dad. I can't just watch my kid. I'll go crazy. I can't do it. I mean, hats off to you fathers and mothers out there who are stay-at-home stay moms or dads. I can't do it. Hats off to you. Boom. I can't do it. I can, uh. I can watch my kid for like 30 minutes and give him my best and he just, he, he drives me crazy. Yes, so Aaron's asking, is that a Model X? Yes, sir, it is. Model X. It's my, I am listening to my thing. Uh, anyways. Guyo Vadia is asking, do you think Ethereum either is going to go up? Yes, I think either Ethereum is gonna go up. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to be really uh, forthright, just let you guys know um, my background a little bit. Um, if I can do it, if I can do it, you can do it. I know that sounds so cliche, and it's everybody says that, but it's true. Like, what what makes you any different than me? Seriously, it's really odd. Like, I am really average. The difference between you and me might be just money. <laughs> that's really, that's really it. And because I have more money, I can actually, I have time to think. I have time to just sit down and like, just think about life. Whereas a lot of people, they're so on the treadmill of life and they're always so stressed out about finances, they can't sit down and decompress. They can't sit down and just think for an hour. Like, hmm, how is my life? What are my goals for the next week? What are my goals for the next one month? Like, you don't have time for that because you're just so stressed out all the time because of money and work. That's the difference between you and me a lot of the times. I think, especially because of rich people, like difference between rich and poor is that rich people have time to think and that helps them become more rich. That's, that's the irony. If you had more time to think and plan and execute on your dreams, you will become more rich. A lot of times though, you're so burnt out from your work. You're so burnt out from your job or, or uh, kids or finances. You come back from work, then you, you don't even have time to work out. You, you don't have time to plan out things. 
that really sucks because if you don't have time to think, if you don't have time to strategize your life, what's my next move? What do I need to do? If you don't have time for that, that's horrible because your life is just going to be the same thing every day, every day, every day, every day, every day is just going to be the same. So another recommendation, if you want to be in a place where like rich people have all the time in the world, like me, like right now, I don't have to do anything. I have time to think. I'm not stressed out with money at all. Uh, give yourself, you have to get some time for yourself to go away somewhere and just just decompress. You have to do it. Even if you're, let's say, in the US, uh, save up your vacation time, your PT, uh, pay time on PTO, and you need to go away somewhere. If you have a wife or girlfriend or boyfriend or uh, a husband there, you guys still there? Yeah, I got a call. I can't see myself anymore. Give me a second. Do you guys still see me? Because I can't see myself. Let me know if you guys see me. Okay, really, really odd. I just got a call in my, my uh, Tesla picked up my call and now I'm, I can't see myself. Give me a second. Yeah, really odd. I don't know. I can't see myself anymore. Anyways, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so give yourself some time. You, you want to make time. You have to. You have to make time for yourself. Or you're going to get stuck. Even if you're super busy. If you don't do it, you're going to get... I'm telling you, you're going to get stuck. You have to plan. You have... But then here's the flip side of the coin. Here's the flip side of the coin, okay? Some of you, you think too much. You're always pontificating. You're philosophizing. You're always just like thinking, thinking, thinking. When are you going to act? When are you going to actually do something? You know what I mean? Like, I'm telling you, one day you're going to wake up and it's like nothing has changed. And guess who's to blame? You. You can't blame anybody else. That's you. I think Bill Gates said, said something, okay? Bill Gates, I think, I, and I quote, he said something like, if you're born poor, it's not your fault. But if you die poor, it's your fault. I think that's how the quote went. Does that make sense? If you are born poor, that's not your fault. How, how is that your fault? It's not your fault. But if you die poor, dude, that's your fault, buddy. How is that not your fault? Especially in today's day. When you have the internet, are you kidding me? Internet is so powerful. And I mean, it's crazy. Um, you guys have to be able to harness the power of the internet. I've been telling the people in my club, if you guys know about my private club, um, I put, a, I think I have it in my Instagram story. It's paid though. And a lot of you guys are like, man, why are you, why isn't it free? Have you ever seen anything good in life that's free? I've never seen it. If you've seen it, you gotta, dude, show me, show me the path. I wanna know what you know. I'm telling you guys, it's, it's, I pay $100,000 a year to my coaches. I have a, um, I even have a, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu coach. Do you think he doesn't charge me? Give me a break. You know? Um, anything good is not free. You know? A lot of my mentors in the beginning who mentored me for free. I have mentored. People mentor people for free. That Don't worry. I mean, don't, don't get it twisted, right? People do that. But a lot of times people who mentor you for free are a, a lot of times like the older people who've been in like who who've kind of gone through their career and all that stuff and have made it in life if you get mentored by them for free 
a lot of the times their their um, mentoring is like very philosoph philosophy oriented, philosophical. It's it's always like be happy with what you have. Don't don't kill yourself. Stuff like it's seriously. I mean, it's always very like zen almost. If you get if you get mentored by business people who want to get paid to be to be your coach or mentor, it's completely different. It's not always just philosophy. It's really like they will tell you how to how to be good in business because they want you to make money. They're entrepreneurial and they're at a place in life where they want money too. They still are uh, they want profits and they want you to be profitable so that you can still continue to do business with them. Think about it that way. It's called incentive. If you incentivize somebody to mentor you so that you can give back to them as well, their their skin is in the game. They're, you're playing in the same team. That's the difference. That's the whole difference. Uh, I want my, like for example, the people that I mentor, <laughs> how do I not want them to succeed? I want them to succeed. And so think about it that way. You know, not everything good. Most things in life that are good, not free. Just letting you know. You can try to find people like that. Good luck. I've tried. Yeah, Stormfire is saying symbiotic relationship. Kind of. Yeah, I would say. I would say so. Um, so again, um... I'm very average. I have, you know, issues like all of you. A lot of people, like most, if you're a human being, you're going to have issues. If you don't have issues, you're dead, you know. <laughs> Trust me, you're, if you're dead, you, you don't have any issues. So, be glad that you're alive. Be glad that you're alive in a time where most of you have water. If you have water, man, you're, you got it made, buddy. If you have food, whoo, man, you're doing great. If you have shelter on top of that, you kidding me? If you were born 100 years ago, 200 years ago, 300 years ago, man, none of that stuff is guaranteed. Even today, in some places in the world, man, all day long, they're walking around in the desert trying to get water. That's a basic need. If you have water, if you're watching this live, you're on a phone. You're on a smartphone, on a supercomputer. You're blessed. Don't forget that. You're in a time in this in this in this world where, you know, don't take it for granted. Most of you guys are taking it for granted. <laughs> Ill creator said water, food, home, dot dot dot. And I just need a Lambo. <laughs> hey, Lambos are overrated. Tesla's are better. Way better. I can't imagine myself going back to like gasoline. Tesla, man. You gotta go back, go to so Tesla Roadster's coming out in like two years. Tesla uh, Roadster 2.0. So I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that one. I I don't like Lambo. Uh yeah. Um anyways. Do any of you guys have any questions? I don't do a whole lot of lives, um, but I got a little time. What do you think about Electronium? I have about five crypto mentors, cryptocurrency mentors. Almost none of them talk about Electronium. I've heard it been being thrown around in conversation here and there, but uh, I wouldn't bet my... I wouldn't bet all my money on it. it I, I'm, I'm not against people putting money a little bit here and there in the altcoins. Just don't go crazy with it. Stick with what works, okay? So Chabander, sorry if I uh, butchered your dreams. How did you, uh, no, what's your favorite stocks? Right now, I really, really like, I, I know some of you guys already know this. I like stuff in the emerging market space. Companies like in South Korea, really cheap. These conglomerates are still super cheap. Russian companies like Gazprom, uh, 
uh, Brazilian companies. Russia as a whole, companies are super cheap. Risky, yes. Cheap, absolutely. Valuations are super cheap. Super cheap. Uh, how's Ethereum? Um, Muradi007 asked, how's Ethereum? So I actually did not like Ethereum too much. I, I like Neo more. But Ethereum is actually, I, last the last time I met my crypto people and vendors, they're actually pretty bullish on Ethereum. So I've actually started buying more Ethereum. The, during the last dip, I was buying Ethereum. So I, I, I actually, I'm starting to become a little bit more bullish. Some of these uh, top market cap coins, it's really, it's going to be hard for them to go away. The distribution is already there. The, the distribution is already so set. Like, for example, like Bitcoin. Have you guys ever, like, when you read the news, how many times do you guys hear, like, some weird altcoin or like even cryptocurrency like no one calls it like most news if you read news articles it always talks about bitcoin the reason for that is it's called branding it's called it's the distribution there's so much distribution already for bitcoin it's almost synonymous if you say bitcoin people already are thinking about cryptocurrency if you say cryptocurrency no one knows what that is the average person is like what's cryptocurrency if you say Bitcoin, people are like, oh, oh, yeah, I've heard about Bitcoin. A lot of people don't really know what it is, but they've heard of Bitcoin. If you hear, if you say crypto, they're like, what? C crypto what? They're going to be like, is that like Kryptonium or some sort of like Superman crypt kryptonite or whatever? Dude, seriously, most people don't even know what cryptocurrency is. I'm telling you. So branding is huge. That's why I feel like Bitcoin is, it's just, it's almost impossible in my mind for it to go anywhere. I just don't see it going anywhere. Any other questions before I before I leave? Bitcoin Cash. That's what uh, Myrta Nalin asks is asking about BCH, Bitcoin Cash. Now I'm not too bullish on Bitcoin Cash. It's a little BSC. To be honest with you, it's just a, it's just a fork off of Bitcoin. I have, I have B. <laughs> uh, Brithonian is saying B Cash is the real Bitcoin. I don't think so. A lot of my mentors, they don't believe in Bitcoin Cash. It's very, yeah. I don't. I have it just because it's in the top ten crypto by market cap. So I have it. Uh. I don't like it though. I, I just really, it's, it's whatever to me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 19 squishy 97 said, can you be my dad? I don't know about that. <laughs> I would, I'm not that good of a dad. <laughs> just being honest. I don't think you want me to be your dad. Big connect. Are you kidding me? That scam. <laughs> BitConnect, man, that, some people, man, I'm telling you. I'm not bashing on people who, who, who are doing BitConnect, but man, you guys got screwed. That sucks for you guys. I feel really bad for you. I know a lot of people are making fun of people who are in BitConnect and stuff like that. It's kind of funny, but at the same time, very sad because some of you guys are you just lost your money, you know? Devanch Kalia asked me, what did you do before retiring? I was a vice president at a wholesale distributor in the door and gate automation space. Very boring. Uh, I started in the warehouse, like I said earlier. I started in the warehouse in Will Call, and I worked my way up to be the vice president of uh, procurement. So that's like supply chain related. So that's what I did. Ryan Carling said, give me your effing money. No, thank you. <laughs> I'll help you. I'll help you with, uh, with like, it's not, I don't want to, it's like tips and life. I'll help you, man. I'm not giving, I don't want to give you anything. I do giveaways though, randomly. If you win, then I'll give you cash. If you win, I'll, I'll, I'll give you money. 
okay? So, Lieutenant is asking, please talk about your paid club. Uh, so, I have a club called the Elite Bloggers Guild. Now, it's the, for the, there, it's a tiered membership structure, okay? Uh, basic membership is $80 a month. VIP membership is like $129.99 a month. And uh, Diamond is $199.99, so 200 bucks a month. Now, that's really, really expensive for a lot of you guys, so I get it. That said, I have been giving out, for some people who are really financially strapped, I've been giving out scholarships to the, to the guild, to the club. If you're super, super cash strapped and financially just really having a hard time, uh, message me. I'm I'm limiting it. I'm limiting it, but I've been giving out for some people because some people are like, oh, you know, I'm really, really having a hard time. I understand. I get you. I've been poor. So I'm giving out scholarships. You still need to pay something though because I, I'm a strong believer in you have to have skin in the game. I've done free. Look, let me let me tell, say it this way. If you are following my blog at tubofcash.com, that's all free. You're getting free advice. So go over there. If you can't afford it, that's free. You don't need to pay. You don't need to pay me. And I always tell my club members, I don't need the money. I'll take the money though. <laughs> I don't need I don't need the money, but I, I take the money. You know, I, it's 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 just, you know, it's entrepreneur. I really, really that's one thing for me. I really enjoy entrepreneur entrepreneurship. It's really fun for me. Like uh just e exchange the marketplace. I really like that. I really like uh, exchanging of goods uh, and services. It's really fun for me. So it's not like I'm just like very greedy or anything like that. I, it's just fun. It's like playing a game. It's like playing a video game. It's like, uh, you know, if you ever played video games in like, like World of Warcraft or Diablo or I don't know, Starcraft. Or, I mean, whatever. You know, there's so many games out there. I played all of them. It's like having gold, you know, it's like having, it's like when you, when you get that currency, it's just fun, dude. It's like, it's, it's, it's just fun. <clears throat> it's part of, it's like Dota. Yeah. Daniel Bernal. It's like Dota. Absolutely. It's like Dota. Uh, Leo Messi is asking, which site can I buy a ripple from? Stop buying ripple. Stop buying XRP. Ripple is really not the that that it's it's XRP. Stop buying XRP, guys. It's still overvalued. Mathematically, it does not make sense. Mathematically, it doesn't make sense. I might be wrong. You, I might be wrong in the short term, like two, three, uh, two, three years, maybe two, three. I don't think it's going to zero. Let's let's put it that way. XRP, okay, I'm actually, yeah, I am staying in a random parking lot. It's, uh, I just got done with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So I'm, 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 I'm at the parking lot of my Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Academy. Now XRP, I have XRP, but it's only because I like having my money. Like I could, the only reason it's called hedging. When you have a lot of money, you hedge. The reason being is you might be wrong. Like I might be wrong. I, I'm wrong. You know, I, I can be wrong. I'm not God. That's why I put my money everywhere. Even stuff that I don't like, I put money in. That's why I put money in X, things like Ripple. I don't like Ripple. I hate XRP, dude. It's a centralized system. Why would you want to put money in XRP? Mathematically, the valuation does not make sense. All of my mentors, they hate XRP. No one likes XRP. Nobody. Okay? So don't go crazy with that stuff, man. Don't go crazy. Hangry911. What's up, Timmy? What's up? Uh. Hey, have a good day too. Devanch is asking, what do you do in your free time considering you don't work, so you must have a lot of free time? Uh, I go out to eat a lot. <laughs> I mean, like... That's kind of what I do. I eat. I I've been gaining a lot. You guys probably see a little bit of my double chin going on here. I don't I don't know what's what's going on. 
I've been eating so much. And I do a lot of Brazilian jiu-jitsu. I've been getting into Brazilian jiu-jitsu. So it's kind of all I do. And I, and I play with my kid after daycare. And I hang out with my wife. My wife isn't working either. She's been, she's been, um, she's been just chilling with me for like, she's going to be chilling with me for about four months, not working. She doesn't have to work. Uh, she wants to though. She, she, she wants to, uh, she's, she likes to help people that my wife, she just got her nurse practitioner license. So, but she doesn't have, I told her, you know, you don't have to work. I got you, baby. You don't have to work. I got you. But she likes she likes to work. She's not working right now though. Uh, we've been just kind of chilling. We've been we've been hanging out. So we we put our day in daycare and uh, we just go out to eat and hang out and watch Netflix and chill. Uh, Luke Amato said, "Can I be your son?" I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't think you want me as your father. Uh, um. By the way, poop. Okay, so Pupilo said, "What should we invest in?" Don't go all in on crypto. Okay, that's super important. Like I know, a lot of my posts are about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, but I told you guys. I told you guys. I only have about 12% of my money in crypto. That's like $160,000 or so in cryptocurrency. For me, that's fine. That's I sleep well at night if I lose $160,000. That's a lot of money. I'm not saying that's not a lot of money, but I really don't care. If I lose $160,000, it's not the end of the world. Um, so it's only 12% of my, my money. Probably about 70% of my money is in stocks. I really like stocks. The reason why I don't talk about stocks as much is because it's kind of boring. <laughs> I mean, that's seriously, that it's just a little boring. Uh, it's just very steady growth. It's because you're buying into company equity. You're buying pieces of company. That's what stocks are. It's just you're buying a, like pieces of a actual business that, that have assets, they have buildings, they have land, they have proprietary um, product, you know? That's what you're buying into, you know? You, Apple's not going away, Samsung's not going away, Amazon, um, none of those are going away. Baidu, you know, Tencent, none of, none of those are going away for a long time. That's why you want to, most of your money, you want to have money in companies. You want to buy pieces of businesses that make a profit. Well, there's a bulldog. Man, it's a handsome that's a handsome dog. I don't want to show it to cuz I don't it's random people. They don't probably don't want to get videoed. That's a good-looking dog. Anyways. Um What what other things? Uh Official Lohi is saying, okay, let's talk a little bit about God. What do you want to talk about? Am I investing in weed stocks? Nah, not really. Although, I'm going to be honest, I think alcohol is worse than weed. My wife may disagree with me on that. So don't, my wife might disagree. But... I think weed is just like, I mean, you just get the munchies. You get hungry and like, you get very relaxed and chill. Like alcohol, man, dude, you, you can crash. You can get people killed. You can, like people go crazy, man. Alcohol, you lose your, your rationale. People like go crazy, man. You, you can't think right when you're on alcohol. You don't even remember what you did. You might kill a person. And, 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 um, yeah, weed, weed though. I don't smoke weed. Um, I don't judge people though that smoke weed. I, I don't, I really don't. I, I think alcohol is worse. I think alcohol, I, I think alcohol is worse and I drink alcohol. Uh, cause Jesus drank wine. Some of you guys, some of our very conservative Christians 
Like, man, I can't believe you drink alcohol. I'm sorry to stumble you, my brother and sister. But uh, I drink alcohol a little bit. I don't go crazy with it. I don't get drunk or anything like that. But but uh, a little bit. A little bit takes the edge off. Um, yeah, Nizo said both of them are banned in Islam. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not Muslim, so, you know. Maybe you can't drink alcohol, but I drink alcohol. Not a lot. Um, what else? Real estate? Yeah. I have a little real estate. Not too much. I think real estate is good. I think really, once you have money, you want to diversify. Like, here's one thing I tell a lot of my people too. The goal isn't just to get rich. It's not, a lot of you guys, your goal is just like, I want to be rich. Nah. The goal isn't to be poor. It's not always to be rich. It's to not be poor. <laughs> you don't have to be rich, just not be poor. You know, so that's why when you get to a certain amount of le level of money, you really want to put a lot of money in a lot of little, a lot of different things because nobody knows everything. Nobody. Carrie Song of Joy asked, how much do you blog every day? You know, I'll be honest with you guys. If you guys follow my blog, when's the last time I blogged? I don't even remember. I think two weeks ago. I, I'm slacking off. I'm, I'm totally slacking off right now. I, I, my wife tells me like, hey, you need, to, you need to blog. I've been um, focusing on my club, on my private club. I've been spending a, lo a lot of time on that and talking to people. Uh, I, sh I should be blog. I, I normally blog about 30 minutes a week. That's not a lot. I write 30 minutes a week. That's all. So I really want to blog more though because... The more I blog, the more money I make, for sure. For sure, I make more. I more I, every time I blog, I make more money. So it's just me. I'm just kind of, I'm chilling a little bit. Perks of Being King is asking, do you consider Instagram and YouTube as blogging? Sure. Yeah, I mean, Instagram is kind of like blogging. YouTube is vlogging. It's called video blogging. Now, I got to tell you, vlogging, if you're video blogging, you, in the beginning, you okay. Here's my thoughts on video blogging. My opinion is that blogging is way, way better than video blogging in the beginning. Way better, like money wise. Financially, you make way more money with blogging up to a certain point. Up to a certain point, let's say you have a million followers. If you have a million followers on your blog, you might make. $400,000 a year, $500,000 a year. If you have a million followers on YouTube, you go, you might make a million dollars a year. See, see what I'm saying? But before you get to about a million followers, it, like if you have 10,000 followers, 20,000, 50,000, on, if you're on YouTube, you have 50,000 followers, you're making no money. You seriously are making no money. If you have 50,000 subscribers on your blog, you're making good money. You're making, I mean, 50,000 subscribers in your blog, you're making six figures. See my point? There's a difference there. Vlogging, again, if you have a ton of followers, it's you make more money long term. But blogging is way more practical. Because you can put a lot more stuff on there. There, you can. There's so many little things you can do vertically. Sales funnels and advertisements you can put all over the place. You can't do that with YouTube. You can't do that. Uh, Ming said, uh, uh, Tim Man, you the man. Thank you. Cornbread said, hello from Indiana. Hello right back to you. Uh, SO2.priv said, question, can you start helping teens who want to earn money? I'm doing that right now. Like all my posts and stuff like that, my my blog posts are all free. If you have no money, you don't have to pay me money. All like 99% of my stuff's free. Like just just read my blog. Go to tubofcash.com. Read all my old all this there's all these articles on there that I put for up for you guys for free. I have re I have a recommended book section. I have um like fundamentals investing 101. I've got 
how to uh, do Roth IRAs, traditional IRAs, 401k. Um, I, I mean, that's all free, you know. Tubofcash.com. So Leo Messi saying, what is your blog? Tub of cash, like tub of protein. So it's, t- uh, it's kind of catchy. Tubofcash.com. It's all free. It's all free. No, you don't have to pay me. Like I said, I don't need the money. I, 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 uh, I take money, but I, I, I could take the money, but I don't, I don't need the money. Um, what else? I'm, I gotta go and eat lunch. My wife is probably waiting for me. Last question. Last question. Uh, N. Kamano said, what about selling Litecoin? I like Litecoin, uh, but I like Bitcoin way, 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 way more. Uh, but I, I mean, Litecoin is going to be around, I feel like. It, I mean, it's, it has good distribution. So I don't see Litecoin going anywhere. Okay, that was it. Uh, if Before I leave, if any, uh, if any of you guys who are watching this want to really like, you do want to change your life. You're tired of the nine to five or you're young and you're just like, how am I going to make money? Because I know 12 and 13 year olds making money with social media and blogging. If you're 15, 16, 17, 18 years old, you're not, I mean, you're young, but you're like, you're not that young. You know what I mean? Like, and if you're like 40, 50, 60 years old, it's not too late. You know, it's not too late. Okay. Start today. So if you need help from me, like more personalized help, I I actually, I don't, I don't like doing one-on-one mentorships anymore. It's just, it's really time consuming. It's really, it could get really stressful and because it's just a personal, you know, and I charge $500 an hour. A lot of people can't afford $500 an hour, but I don't, I've stopped. I, I really, I'm maxed out. I don't want to do one-on-one mentoring. It's just too much work. That's why I created my club where I get to mentor a group of people, a community of people. So if you want to be part of that community, I know it's a blogging community, but I talk about online. I talk about social media. I talk about how, because social media is so powerful. Um, I talk about marketing. I talk about market psychology. I talk, I talk about business fundamentals because I was in corporate America for about 10 years. I was a vice president of a business, of a, of a company. So, um, I don't know everything, but what I do know, I share. So if you want more personalized help, I think I have a link on my Instagram story for my club. If I don't, I'll put it up again. But it's my elite bloggers guild. I talk about crypto sometimes. So if you like crypto, if you like stocks, if you want to know more about just how to make money in general, if you want to know how to create an online store or do uh, marketing uh, affiliate or social media marketing or um, uh, social media agencies and stuff like that, um, I do that stuff. Okay? So... Uh, if you're interested, uh, go to my Instagram story. It is paid, but if you're really, really, just, just, if you're really, really having a tough time monetarily, financially, I am handpicking maybe like 35, 40 people, and I'm giving them a little bit of a scholarship. You still need to pay something, but I'm, I'm gonna, I'm giving you a little bit of a scholarship. So if you're interested in that, you know, message me, okay? Um, I, I really want to try the best to help you guys, to serve you guys. I've, you know, I'm in a really good place in my life. I'm very, very happy and we're just really in a good place. I feel, you know, really good. Um, and I hope that you guys could get to a place like, like me, you know, where you guys don't have to be always stressed out about money or where your next meal is coming from, or you just want to provide for your family. You have, you have expectations, you know, like you want to take care of your family. You want to take care of your kids. You want more financial stability. That's a basic need. Everybody needs financial stability. It's 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 a it's a basic fundamental requirement, you know. So, and if you can't afford my stuff, just keep following me, and I'll I'll share as much as I can, you know. I've been sharing as much as I can, uh, and and read my blogs, okay. So I love you guys. I really appreciate appreciate you guys for following me, and um, I'll try to do a little bit more lives. Uh, cool. See you guys later. Bye.